Run! It's a villain laugh! Let's get him! No, not a villain laugh. That's the laugh of henchmen, and I think I know whose. Up to Paganini, right? Exactly. Ah, the mighty Eclair and your scintillating sidekick, Blitzen, the sworn defenders of Antwerp. <laughs> there you are. I have a letter for you, mademoiselle. Hmm. It's from the International Superhero Exchange Program. Oh, looks as though I'll be going away for a month. But now, we're just about to crack Octopaganini's latest caper. Ah, not to worry. I'm sure these exchange people know exactly what they're doing. Arthur? Eclair? Oh, look at you! Aren't you cunning? <laughs> We're going to get along swimmingly! To the headquarters! The, yeah, yeah, listen, uh, the headquarters. Um, <clears throat> you see, right now they're a little, um, uh, infested. Cockroaches? Hmm. Cookies? Ah! Whoa! <laughs> this exchange thing just might work out after all. Eclair is a gracious guest and a powerful force for goodness. Every morning she makes delicious Belgium waffles. Yum, yum. The King of Belgium has been kidnapped! Ah, Octopaganini. So that's what he was up to. But I don't understand. How can Tick and Blitzen just sit around in cafes and go dancing when... Uh, when a crime that serious has been committed? Arthur, we Europeans take a long-range view of these things. Slow whipped cream? Another postcard to the Tick. Truly, Arthur, you are a loyal sidekick. Well, thank you. But I know he'd want to hear how all that gingerbread business turned out. I got him! I got him! The battle was long and hard. Two dozen against one. But in the end, the mouse prevailed. They went stale, didn't they, Deflator Mouse? What? They went stale. They stiffened up. They stopped moving. Just like ours, right? Oh, well, uh, I mean, I, I would have had them if they lasted. Hey, it's Eclair, my favorite cream puff. Tell me, what flavor is your filling? Ooh, lightning flavor. <laughs> yeah, I'll be checking my mail. Hey, a letter. Somebody loves Deflator Mouse. Come on, sidekick. Let's go on patrol. Ah, oh. It's from the Breadmaster. Oh, the Breadmaster! I should have known. By now, as you know, my wondrous gingerbread minions have gone stale. But that is not the end of my brutal battle. I have poured the rest into a new recipe for our delicious destruction! <laughs> wow. He wrote out his villain laugh. <laughs> what a turkey. You are a disgrace to your apron! Oh, three heroes all in a row. <laughs> Taste my blitzkrieg! Incoming blitzes! <laughs> That's a glazed gingerbread! It's reflecting my lightning! I can't chance using it! Um, I, I think I've got an idea. Me too! Let's go home! Hey, Claire, can you cover me? Like a blanket, sweetheart. Let's go! Ah, Eclair, the meddling pastry. Try some of my quick-setting frosting. <laughs> you, you twisted! Twisted man! I'm sorry to have to crush you, madam. It was my intention to take over the city with much more finesse, but my hench cookies went stale. And do you know why they went stale? Because I have baking integrity. I am pure. My cookies contain no artificial preservatives. <laughs> and for that alone, I must applaud you. Excuse me. I 
too have been sorely disappointed by the quality of baked goods in this country. The bread is bleached, soaked in chemicals, uh, flavorless. Oh, a kindred spirit. Well, goodbye. Milk beach cookies. Drat! You've ducked my trends. Battery pat, load the heavy artillery. Well, Eclair woman, eat this, Eclair. I've got one shot. Better make it good. Fire! So, Arthur, once again we find that you can't disguise the foul taste of evil with artificial or even natural sweetness. The recipe for goodness is ever elusive. But here's a little tip. Right, Arthur? Right.